We are going to Asia. Yeah, we are. We've got a mega trip coming up in the next couple of weeks, so we thought we'd take you through our itinerary and tell you everything that's coming up on the channel pretty much for the rest of the year because it's going to take that lot many videos for <laughs> yeah, half edit. a year's worth of videos are coming your way <laughs> it's a mega trip we're going to talk you through everything we've booked but we're not going to go into the details in terms of how we've booked it it's more the what rather than the how the how will come after the trip once we've made the mistakes so we don't give you the same mistakes to make so we're going to go through talk through where we're staying we're going to talk through the things we're looking forward to the most yeah the attractions that we're going to do outside of the park as well as all the attractions that are inside the parks all the food right oh my goodness there's a lot coming let's get straight into it so how long are we going for we are going for 24 days and how many countries are we visiting we're going to four countries and how, i'm so excited and how many theme parks are we visiting Six. Six, Six theme, theme parks. parks. So let's just say we're going to be busy bees. <laughs> yeah. We're starting in China, then we're going to Hong Kong, then to Japan and finishing up in Singapore. Now, let's be honest, that doesn't really match up very well on a map. However, it was the cheapest way. By far. By far. So we actually ended up with a really good deal in terms of the flights altogether. And that's the reason why we're doing it in some sort of weird way. So, I think we're spending something like 42 hours flying. Yeah, it's crazy. So yeah. it's like 12 hours for the first flight, 3 hours for the second, 4 hours for the third, 5 hours for the fourth, and 13 hours for the fifth. I think maybe 13 hours 50. Yeah, it's a crazy it's flight. It's a long flight home. <laughs> yeah. We'll go into more detail in terms of flights and stuff shortly, but yeah, so it's going to be some, well, it's going to be a mammoth trip. Mammoth. But something we are super excited for. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit outside of our comfort zone, but your comfort zone only gets wider if you push yourself outside of it. This so. is true. And we are finally going to be able to say that we've completed all six castles. I can't believe it. That's We're actually exciting, gonna, yeah. I think I might cry when we get to the last one. As we keep saying, it's a mega trip, but it's actually mine and Angie's 10 year wedding anniversary. So yeah. this is our trip. We decided rather than do a Val renewal, let's just spend it all on travel. <laughs> so the first stop, Shanghai. We're going to travel into Shanghai on the 144 hour tourist visa, which we are going to cover in the planning video that will be at the end of this whole series of trips once we know that we've done it right. Yeah, so there's going to be a lot of stuff that goes into a lot more detail. Yeah. So we'll talk about like apps that we're using, the money situation, the visas, transiting, all that type of stuff. That'll be covered when we know we've done it right. <laughs> or what we know what we've needed to do yes, <laughs> to do the, it right. The title of that will be we did this so you don't have to. <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully we've done enough research to get it right. So when we're staying in Shanghai, we are staying on Disney property and mm -hmm. that is going to be a theme that you're going to see throughout this video. And we have a couple of off-site hotels. But the majority of them are actually on-site just because it feels a little bit more comfortable for us and also it's dead easy to get into the parks and there's some perks that's involved in it that's going to help us out throughout the trip. The early entries are going to be necessary that side of the world, I believe. Yeah. So where are we staying in Shanghai? We're staying at the Toy Story Hotel. That is super exciting. So excited to stay there. Yeah, we've watched a few, well, we've watched, I don't know how many vlogs now. A million. Of, yeah, <laughs> so we've got an idea in terms of what it is. It is one of the cheaper hotels. Mm -hmm. It still comes with the perks. Um, and it wasn't a package that we booked with Shanghai though, was it? No, because we booked it too early to get the ticket package because we were like, we need to get it booked for our peace of mind. Yep. As soon as we can book it, we just know we want that hotel, so let's just book it. And now we can buy tickets, but we believe Hopefully this information is still true. Hopefully. That when we get there, if we book it there, we get the fast pass, one fast pass each per day. We haven't bought tickets as of yet. We have got the hotel. We're guaranteed entry and we're buying yeah. tickets. So there. being at the hotel guarantees you entry no matter what. So even if we don't get the fast pass, it'll be fine. So we're staying in Shanghai for a total of is it four days altogether? Yes. Yeah, four days. Four days. The first day we're having it as a write off just because of the jet lag and stuff like that. Well, we don't have a hotel from half past eight in the morning from London until 4 p.m. And yeah. we have emailed them saying, can we get early, like, early check-in, is that, can we pay extra? And the answer was check-in. Check yeah, so find out. we don't know, but we're gonna go to Disney Town, definite that day and explore it. It's the only chance we're gonna have. Yeah, we're gonna go and see the big duck, big Donald Duck. I can't wait to see that. I bet it's bigger in real life as well than it looks. Yeah, it, look, it, look, it looks cool. So it we're gonna go and so give that cool. an explore, but we're not planning on going to a park on the first day that we land. We wanna kind of get settled, get ourselves organized and get ready for the next day. And then we're going straight into Shanghai Disneyland. Yeah, I can't wait to see the castle. The biggest castle of all the castles. What are you most looking forward to? Oh, Pirates of the Caribbean for rides. To see the castle stage show because it looks incredible because it looks like the stage all moves and stuff comes out of it and it looks crazy. I mean, it's a huge castle by the looks of it. I'm just looking forward to seeing the differences because I believe that the park is ginormous. Mm, like spread out. Lots of park in the park. 
Lots of park in the park. Yeah. You've got a list as long as you are in terms of food that you want to try. Oh, Peking duck pizza. Yeah. Alien pizza. And there's like a lot so cake. Cheesecake, yeah, the lots of cheesecake. There will there's definitely be a theme on this trip. Themed snacks. Themed snacks. <laughs> yeah, we're going to try them all. Yeah, exactly. Well, you're <laughs> in a theme park, you got to try themed snacks. So that's and it. And I cannot wait to meet Duffy and friends because they are massive in Asia and they're so cool. We haven't got any sit-downs booked because one, the snack game seems to be quite strong in Shanghai. It does. And we know that sit-downs take time away from the park and we've only got a limited amount of time. We were planning on two days for Shanghai Disneyland. Yeah. I think we're going to possibly buy the premier access so we don't have to queue but we're going to judge that on the day because you can't buy it until you're in the park on the morning so we think we'll see what it's like the couple of days leading up to it and then make a decision before we get to the park anyone who doesn't know premier access is their version of like fast passes or like lightning lanes so yeah i think it. you can buy a package of them though so like you don't eight, have to buy individual it? ones yeah and the nighttime show yeah. which i am so excited for Again, we'll go through all that in the planning video to give you a better understanding on when you're looking to book because you can book packages, you can book that at individuals, there's loads of stuff you can do. So we'll talk about that in a later video. But for yeah. now, just know we're going to be paying for to get on rides. Definitely this trip. And then after the two days that we've got in Shanghai Disneyland, we're then going to venture out. We're going into Shanghai. Yeah. We can't travel all that way and not see the city. We have like a, a little bit of a itinerary. So we're going to go to Yu Yuan Gardens and see all that area. And, which is like the old town area of Shanghai. And then we're going to go to the modern area, which is the Bund with the skyline and the craziness of the skyline. That's the thing I'm most looking forward to when we go out to Shanghai, just to see it at night time because yeah. it looks spectacular. I'm hoping we get to do a bit of a day and night stop yeah. at the Bund. And then we're going to go up the Shanghai Tower. Yeah, which is the third tallest tower in the world. It is. And then there's also, it's like a counterweight at the top of the building. A damper. Yeah, so you kind of see it. So it basically keeps the tower from swaying too much and we've got like a specialized ticket to be able to go and see what that looks like so i'm looking forward to that yeah there's like a little show that they put on with lights it looks yeah. pretty cool and then hopefully fingers crossed if we've got time we might be able to do like some sort of boat tour that takes you through the river um yeah. but we're kind of keeping it a little bit loose on that one because we're not too sure how long things are going to take but that should and be the exciting disney store. we are going oh, yeah. to the disney store yeah yeah that's true yeah we're going to give that a go <laughs> So that's Shanghai. So that's our first stop over and done with. Then we're going to take a flight from Shanghai to Hong Kong. Yeah. So that's with Cafe Pacific. Cafe Pacific. And then we're going to be going over to Hong Kong. That's the shortest flight. I believe it's around about two hours, 50 minutes, if I remember rightly. One second. I have a spreadsheet in front of me that tells me everything here. <laughs> we have all our information. We have Two it. hours, 50 minutes. I've just realized that the flight from UK to China says 12 hours, 50 minutes. Yeah, I know. I thought you missed the 50. Sorry about that. Wow. I didn't realise it was that long. But yeah, anyway. I think the flights are longer than Gaz is anticipated. I yeah. think he's like cut the second half <laughs> yeah. of the time. Forget the minute. It's just talk it just says that on the hours. <laughs> so yeah. So UK to China is twelve hours fifty minutes. And from China to Hong Kong is two hours fifty minutes. So we're talking a three hour flight. Yeah. Did you book um food or anything on that one? That one we do get food on. Oh right, okay. Cool. And I've booked Holly's child's meal already. Yeah, there you go. Angie's already sorted all that. I did, As I you did can that. tell, Angie's of the majority of the planning. Uh, but yeah, so we, we land in Hong Kong at 3.15. So mm -hmm. again, that first day is pretty much a write-off, isn't I it? I think we're staying at... Should we go where we're staying at? We're staying yeah. at the Disneyland Hotel. The Disneyland Hotel. The Disney, it's the first yeah. time we will have ever stayed at a Disneyland Hotel in any country. Yeah, and to be fair, it was a lot cheaper than I expected it to be. It was. It wasn't significantly more expensive than the other on-site hotels. So we were like, we've got to do it. And it's Ollie's birthday while we're there. So... Yep. We definitely want to do that. Yeah, so we are going to be in the park for two days again. Yep. And one of them days is Ollie's birthday. Yeah, we. I don't think we're going to film that day. No. So I think you'll just get one day out of us from Hong Kong. Yes, we're going to be very busy that day trying to get around everything. But yeah. um, what are you excited for, Hong Kong? Oh, gosh. The new Frozen area. Yep. I'm really excited for that. Oh, my God, we didn't even talk about Zootopia in Shanghai. Zootopia in Shanghai. <laughs> just completely just broke over that straight away. Yeah, that's Zootopia. I forgot yeah. about that and that ride. Oh, that's going to be so cool. Yeah. We've like stayed away from spoilers and everything yeah. for that ride, so I'm excited. Yeah, Ollie had like a POV on the other day. I was like, no! Get it off! Get it off. <laughs> so, but yes, no, sorry, back to Hong Kong, complete like diversion. Um, but yeah, so what you're Oh, we to? have booked one sit down in Hong Kong yes. so far. We are doing the Crystal Lotus for the Mickey Dim Sum. I have wanted to do that since 2019 was when I first saw that, I believe. Yep. And I've been like, 
desperate to try it. To be fair, and we finally booked it. I'm it so excited. Cool. They do look really cool. And like, Anne's like messaged Hong Kong, was like, "Hey, we want to book this." And they're like, "Which dim sum do you want?" And we just went one of everything, all of them <laughs> on the Disney menu. Yeah. I was like, and I did clarify. I was like, "There's only seven, but do you know what? They've still not messaged me back, so I'm a bit concerned because yeah. you have to book those 24 hours before." So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that they've got my order. That will be sorted. I'm sure it'll be fine. What am I looking forward to the most at Hong Kong? I'm looking forward to Mystic Manor. Yeah. Mystic Manor looks cool. Yeah, I think that's that's the one kind of attraction that I'm looking forward to the most. What Manor. have I written down? Let's have a look. You want the Iron Man waffle? Oh, I do want. I mean, I want, I want everything Iron Man. To be fair, isn't this? The, oh no, it's oh, Shanghai yeah. that has the Iron Man burger. Yes, this has the Iron Man ride though. Is this? No, but, yeah, but it's Star Tours. <laughs> yeah, isn't but it? it's Iron Man. Yeah, it's the only way you get me back on Star Tours <laughs> with Iron Man. <laughs> but yeah, no. I, again, I'm I'm really looking forward to the castle. Yeah, since they've done it up and yeah. made it, because it was the OG Disneyland size, yeah. and now it's like a massive castle, so it that's going to be pretty, cool to pretty. see. It looks pretty pretty. <laughs> looks Very pretty. pretty. <laughs> Very pretty. And like they've got mountains in the background and stuff. And the night, so. the nighttime spectacular there is supposed Momentous. to be like, yeah, it's supposed to be insane. Yeah, so that, again, there's just, there's just so many things that we want to try and cram into this one. So again, we're looking at potentially Premier Access, but we're, this one you can buy beforehand. So we can now buy that. We are close enough to the trip to buy that. And yeah. we are debating not doing, because looking at the wait times, the maximum is 30 minutes at the moment. Yeah. But I don't know if we're making a mistake by not doing it. We'll probably end up buying Premier Access. We're only potentially going there once, so we don't want to be waiting in queues. Right, this decision has been made whilst we're videoing this, we're buying Premier Access. Okay, so yeah. when, when this video is yeah, done, we'll, we're, we're going to buy, buy it. Yeah, yeah. we're going to buy it. Um, and then, is there anything food-wise that's on there? Food-wise. And just like a booklet, and she's brought it all in. There's not as many snacks that I've been able to find, so the lots of ice pop is from here. Oh, yeah. So I'm excited to try that. And yep. Like I said, the Iron Man waffle. Yeah. And there's character donuts. Okay. So like Shelly Mae, Duffy. Oh all yeah. Those. Well, that should be good. So, but we will obviously find more while we're there. Yeah. This is the smallest park out of all the parks that we're going to visit. And there is no Disney Springs, Disney Village, Disney Town. No, it's just basically hotel park. So. But I think there's a lot more to do in the hotel. There's like activities and stuff. And. Okay. So hopefully that first day that we get there we'll have enough time to explore the hotel. Yeah. I'm hoping so. I think so. I think we'll be all right. Yeah. And then after the two days that we've got in Hong Kong, we are again going into Hong Kong. I am very, very excited for this day. We're going to take a cable car and go up to Gongping 360. Yeah, so this is where the big Buddha is. I can't wait to see that. I've seen it in so many vlogs and I'm like desperate to go up there and there's the Poland Monastery and the village. So in the cable car, um, you've got like different choices and we're going for the one that's got the glass floor. floor. That's exciting. I don't know if that is exciting, it's a little bit nerve wracking, but it should be good as well It'll to take great. video of. It's gonna be great. Yeah, so once we've been up to the top there and we've seen that side of Hong Kong, we're then going to then go into the center and we're going over to Victoria Peak. Yeah, we're gonna do the Victoria Tram up to Victoria Peak. And I believe that the ticket that we're gonna buy is gonna give us access to Sky Terrace 428, which is the highest viewing platform in Hong Kong. And then after that, we're gonna head down to Avenue of the Stars, which is Hong Kong's kind of area where you've, it's kind of like the whole- Hollywood Walk yeah, of Fame. Yeah, Walk of Fame, but they have Hundreds. the hands. On the like railing. Yeah, and you get to see Bruce Lee's statue and stuff. And Jackie Chan's handprints. And then what the view that you've got there is the, is it this side? Skyline, yeah. It is that side, isn't it? Yeah, it's the skyline of Hong Kong. And again, similar to Shanghai, they have like, um, like a light show, don't they? Yeah, I think there's like 47 buildings that do a light show to every night at eight o'clock. And that's Hong Kong done. And then we're from Hong Kong, we're heading over to Japan and we are going into Tokyo via the Hong Kong Express. Yes, this is the airline that I'm most nervous for, I think, because it is a proper budget airline. We went for the cheapest. Yes. And I'm hoping it doesn't get cancelled because I don't know what we're going to do if it does. So I believe that the Hong Kong Express is a subsidiary of Cafe Pacific. It is. It's Cafe Pacific's budget. With this one, in terms of meals, there's nothing or anything like that. You can like pay that, for it? meals on board. But they had, we had a look and we were like, oh, just take our own food on. And there's like a big sign that says, no, no food is allowed on board. It will be confiscated. Yeah. So <laughs> I was like, okay. Okay, Ryanair, chill out. <laughs> so we're heading over to Tokyo, first of all. And the first night, we are not going to stay directly in Disney, are we? No, we're staying in um, 
Deva. Yeah. Hotel Nico. This one we're actually getting really late. So we get into Tokyo 10 at 10.50, yeah. So there's not really anything that we can do during that time. We're just planning on getting straight to the hotel. Yeah. We're going to go to sleep because the next day is probably going to be the busiest day out of the entire trip. It's absolutely insane. We've got to get up at the crack of dawn to put our bags in storage. Yep. And then we're going to Team Labs Planets. And I oh. cannot wait. This, this might be the thing that I'm most excited for. I th I would probably agree. I've seen this on so many vlogs and it's just like, I've wanted to go here for so long. It's just going to be like sensory overload. Massively. Yeah, if you don't know what Team Labs Planets is, it's just basically like it's cool It's like a giant rooms. art installation. Yeah. But that's interactive. Yeah. It's mint and I, I can't wait be I think some of the you. rooms are going to be trippy and like, you're going to be like, whoa, what's going on? Yeah. I'm but super excited. So, and the, the silver beans. I'm going to be like the character in Monsters, Inc. In the university. It. Don't touch it. I want to touch it. Don't, don't touch, touch it. it. I want to touch it. it. <laughs> <laughs> we could probably spend all day in there, but we can't. So we've probably only got like, what, two hours maximum? Yep. So we're going to try and get in there, get the most out of it, but also be a little bit quicker than we would normally do that type of thing. Yeah, because we booked another ticket after that. Yes. For Shibuya Sky. Yeah, so that get another big tower, go to the top, be able to see the skyline of Tokyo, and you're hoping to be able to see Mount Fuji. Oh, keeping everything crossed that it is a clear day because you can see it on a clear day from the top. Yeah, so fingers crossed. Keeping everything crossed. Like it might not, it might be hidden in the clouds and that's fine. Well, have to go back, won't we? Whilst we're at Shibuya, we are going to do the Shibuya Scramble, which yes. is the busiest, like, side, what would I say, sidewalk? What is it? Crosswalk. Crossing, crosswalk in the world. But there's one thing that we're really gutted about that we found out a couple oh, of days ago. I know, we were going to go and have a coffee in the Starbucks overlooking it, and it is closed until 20 days after we're there or something stupid. I was a little bit gutted about that, yeah. but it's fine, it's fine. We're still going to be able to go up and do the, the square and stuff like that, it should be cool. And then, after that, we're going to go and see some Pokemon. Yeah, we're going to go to the Pokemon Center and the Super Nintendo store. Because you've got to, you're in Japan, you can't not and do that. And we don't that. have time to go to do the cafes, so no. that's the next best thing to do. Yeah, so we're going to do that. So where are we going after that? Harajuku. Harajuku. Yes. We're going to go over and see the Meiji Jingu Shrine on the way there. Yep. And then we're going to this street for lots of food. <laughs> you pretty guess. Don't say it. There will be tons of food that we have found via various vlogs, TikToks, Instagram Reels, just basically it's just cool food. So we'll be trying lots of that there, won't we? Yeah. We're hoping that we might have time to go and get the coffee foam thing from oh, Cafe Reissue. Oh, yeah. But I don't, the queue at that, yeah, I don't know if we'll have time. We have gosh. like three weeks of plans for Japan, trying to squish them into one, one day. day. <laughs> <laughs> Originally, we, weren't we were planning on having a couple of days in, in Tokyo. However, we with the flights and stuff to make it cheaper. The Hong Kong kind of flight on the day that we wanted to fly, which was a day earlier, yeah. went up by a thousand pounds. So we were like, hmm, we're gonna have to cut a day off Tokyo. Yeah, so that's what we ended up doing. Then we're gonna go back, collect our bags from the hotel and then head to Disney. Tokyo Disney. And we stayed at the Toy Story Hotel again. I'm really looking forward to it. The only thing is we didn't know at the time of booking it that we don't get the early access from staying there into Disney Sea, which we were like, no. Yeah, no, it's a bit gutting that to be we fair. We should have done two nights there and two nights at maybe one of the other ones just yeah. to get in. But it's fine, it'll be fine. No package booked with this one. Very yeah. similar to the situation we got with Shanghai. We've booked the hotel and the tickets we can buy whilst we're there. So the it's ticket guaranteed. packages were insane money. Yeah, like crazy money. Like this crazy, like it would have been like £5,000 to do the four nights and we were like, nope. Yeah. <laughs> not and, doing that and once again premier access we're planning on using a lot, that quite a bit whilst we're there but we can only book that once we scan in at the park so yeah. so that's that we're doing two days in Tokyo Disneyland and, and two, two days, days in Disney Sea I can't wait I'm so excited we are a little bit disappointed though the parade the daytime parade stops for refurb the day before we get there yep then literally we're there a day too late and Simbad's is gone Pooh's uh, Honey Hunt's closed and Pooh's Honey Hunt's closed yep. Big Thunder Mountain's closed yep it's quite a lot closed over there. Obviously, Toy Story Mania is closed. Um, Fantasy Springs is coming in the next couple of months, so they're trying to get everything like refurb ready for that. I think I'm actually glad though that we're missing that one. Yeah, I think it. The crowd levels are insane enough in Japan. I think that would have just made it unpleasant. So, what are we looking forward to the most in Tokyo? Food, Disneyland attractions. What? Everything, Ange. So. Disney, so we start Disney Sea? Disney Sea. Can't wait, journey to the centre of the earth. I know nothing about this ride. All we know is that it comes down the outside at that's some point, because you, you can see it on the vlogs, but yep. we haven't watched anything and you're not allowed to film on it. So there's not that much out there to spoil it. Yeah. I'm like, I'm no, so nothing. so excited. I want to know nothing about it. 
And this is another park that's just full of snacks, right? Oh, the both parks are just insanely full of snacks. The alien mochi. Mochi. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for the alien mochi. Gotta try the mochi. What else is there? There's loads in there. The, I, I literally mean, I have can... like a full list of what we want. The amount of people that pause the video on that now just to see what you wrote. <laughs> All the different flavour popcorns. Yep. The Mickey shaped churros, Mickey shaped nuggets. Oh, the massive Mickey shaped out there. Like they've got the egg, they've got the nuggets, they've got. Baymax in a curry soup. Oh, I forgot about that. I can't honestly, there's so much food. We're going to just be like. Mickey. Stuff uh, the whole time. Mike Melon Bread. The Melon Bread. Yeah, that was another yeah, one that we wanted to pod. try. There's tons of food on that one. We can't wait for this. This is going to be. Uh, the, Mickey and Minnie, the Mickey and Mini ice pops. Ice pops, yeah. yeah. The salted caramel ice cream. No, salty ice cream. Oh, the sea salt ma sea maca salt, yeah, monica. That one. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? There's tons. Oh, and they do tons. mini Mickey waffles. Mini, little mini ones. Don't the Hong Kong one do the big ones as well? I think so. Yeah. There's... We're just going to be anything themed. We're going to put some weight on this trip. Well, the amount of running about we're doing, I doubt it. Ah, this is true. <laughs> this is true. Four days in total that we're staying at the Disneyland um, like, area. And then we're getting on a bullet train. The Shinkansen. So yeah, we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna then go down to Osaka, as we mentioned. Why are we going to Osaka, Ange? Universal Studios. <laughs> so we're staying at Hotel Kihan for this one, which is Universal Tower. So it's I think it's like a good neighbour kind of property. It's in City Walk. Yeah. So it's um, it's pretty close nearby. Um, we're not really gonna be able to have a chance to soak in City Walk, really, are we? No, not really, unless we get done with Universal early. Yeah. Um, but the first day that we get there, we are not doing Universal. We're no. doing. We're Osaka. going to go to Don Donton, Donton Boring Boring Street. Street and maybe Osaka Castle if we've got time. Yes. So we're planning on getting the bullet train super early in the morning because mm -hmm. um, it takes roughly around about two and a half hours to get into Osaka. We then have to go dump the bags, dump the bags at the hotel and then get back into Osaka to be able to go and try some food there. So we're going to do a really quick, probably 12 hour stop in Osaka. Yeah, I think we'll we'll probably try and start with Osaka Castle and then come back to Dalton Boris Street yeah. because I think that gets more alive at night time yep. rather than daytime. Yeah. And then the following day is an insane universal day. We have bought the Express Pass. Yes. We nearly cried buying the tickets in Express Pass because the Express it's high pass, water in the, price. The Express Pass was dearer than the tickets were. And the tickets weren't cheap. But it guarantees you access into Super Nintendo World and it guarantees you access into Harry Potter. But I believe, I've been reading something, that they've stopped doing the Harry Potter entry. I'm not too bothered about that, to be honest. But I don't know, because of the time of year we're going, whether yeah. that will be back. Yeah, I just want to see the Yoshi ride. Yeah, so I'm, so it gives us a Yoshi yep. Express. Yep. Gives us a Mario Kart Express. Yep. And access into Super Nintendo, and that is what we're starting our day with. Yeah. So I am pretty glad that we've done it, because yeah, we might definitely. not have got in otherwise. And yeah, so... With it, a little uh, bit of luck... Donkey Kong might open. Maybe. There's just nothing coming out about the date of opening, so no, I think it we're looks though, it. like it's pretty it much ready. Done. Like they've done they've like press, press events and stuff, so. I wonder maybe. what they're waiting for. It'd be nice to be able to see that before Epic Universe opens, but we'll shall see. Chances are we're probably gonna miss we're it. We're gonna see it, we just might not be able to ride it. What are you looking forward to most in Universal Japan? The crazy bow buns. Bow buns? Yeah, have you not seen I them? I don't think I've seen them. Oh, wait a oh minute, these are the Nintendo bow buns. The Nintendo. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the Nintendo ones, the Hello Kitty ones, they're just themed to death. I'm really intrigued to see what Universal Japan is going to be like because I feel like Universal is is more within the Japan culture than Disney is. Yeah. I think Disney's I think a little bit more Western than it than it is Japan. There's a few things closed while we're in there. That one of the roller coasters is shut, isn't yep. it? While we're there. Yep. But they've got Jaws, so and we do have an express for Jaws. Oh yeah, that's true. So. Yeah, I'm excited to ride Jaws again. Yep, that should be cool. I think Ollie will look Yo forward to that I think that the well. Yoshi ride is the thing I'm most looking forward to, though. I would agree with that, yes. And then trying Nintendo-themed snacks. Yeah, the food. How, how do we need to try and figure out how to get into Canopio's Cafe? Because if we don't, I'm going to be gutted. And then we are going from Japan, and then we are going to the world's best airport, Changi Airport in Singapore. And we're actually staying in it for the night because we've bought the Yotel. Yeah, exactly. We arrived there and there's just so much to do at the airport that we thought we'll stay there, get to tour around, try a few bits and pieces. They've got like, um, like canopies, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, they've got stuff. like bouncing nets and... And the waterfall there is, it looks stunning. The jewel. Yeah, so looking forward to trying that out for the night. And then from there, we then go... To a massive bucket list place that we've wanted to stay at for years. We're staying at the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. Oh my gosh, just one night. 
because of the price yeah it's crazy price but just to be able to sit in that infinity pool at night be able to see all of Singapore that's what oh I'm gosh, really looking forward wait. to oh cannot wait and I believe it gives us access staying there to the terrace thing as well for the, the viewing platform yeah the viewing platform yeah it does so we'll get to see that as well um, there's loads of things that we want to do in, in Singapore whilst we've got a day is it like yeah, two we've days two days in Singapore two days in Singapore yeah so we're going to go and do Gardens by the Bay yep so that's like this. well if you haven't seen it have a look it at this it looks insane it looks so cool and they have like a light show there so that's something I'm really super looking forward to yeah what else have we Merlion got? Park yep Merlion Park there's food Hawker Centres yep the Hawker Centres try all yeah. out I think we're going to go to the, the main one which is Lao Pass at mm -hmm. so and then maybe the old the town like the Chinatown and there's Little India there's just so and... much to be able to do there so we're going to give that a go for a couple of days so we're then headed over to Sentosa Island why are we going to Sentosa Island? Universal Studios. Yep, there's Universal Studios Singapore there. And we're staying at... The Sh Shangri-La. Oh yeah, we're staying at Shangri-La. Yeah, Shangri-La. Yeah, Sh Shangri-La Hotel. There. And like, so Sentosa is kind of like its own like, island that's just full of activities, isn't it, really? Yeah. So it's like its own little island. It's got tons of stuff there. But we might do a few bits and pieces depending on how much time we've got. But the main reason we're there is because of Universal. I think it's a smaller Universal Park, so I think we haven't booked Express for that, and I think we'll still get done reasonably early on that day to be able to go and explore a little bit more of Sentosa. But we haven't really given ourselves rest days, so... Yeah, none of this involves rest days. The only time we're resting <laughs> is during travel days. And even on the travel days, we're trying to do stuff, so... <laughs> Good luck! <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to squeeze a lot in. Yeah, we, we realise that. We realise that we're going to come back and need a holiday from our holiday. Then we get the flight back from Singapore, back to Heathrow, and we're getting on... The A380 to Singapore Airlines, A380 to... It is oh only economy. Oh, and I've booked... Because I was being really cheap, I booked the cheapest ticket, and you can't even like attempt to upgrade it at the airport or anything, and now I'm like... Oh. So that's going to be a bit of a brutal flight home, but still. No, it's Singapore Airlines. It's like, isn't it the world's best airline? Still economy, and It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We're going to get to go on the A380. That's our trip. And uh, I'm excited. Are you excited? Just a bit. How much excitement to nervousness have you got? Um, wait, my nervousness is like right down there. here and my excitement's uh, off camera. Yeah, I it's think like my excitement, is, I mean, my nervousness is a little bit more nervous than you. But my excitement is also only that. Like, Mine's off camera. Well, Mine's like yeah, all the way through up the there. roof. It's super exciting. I can't exciting. wait. I'm so excited for this trip. The only thing, I don't feel 100% prepared yet. No, I don't think you ever will. But we're, we're trying. Like I say, we're going to do a planning video. We'll have all the bits and pieces in terms of what we booked, how much we paid, um, how far in advance, it, yeah. yeah, who you book with, all that type of stuff. Because it, it is, is complicated. It yeah. has been a complicated trip to book. Yes, it's not been straightforward. And if one brick falls. Let's just hope the flights all end up all right. So I think there's just, as long as the flights go up when they're supposed to go, we'll be all right. We should be okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll fingers crossed. We'll see. But if we, <laughs> if we need to adapt, we'll adapt. What we want you to do, if you can, is take a few minutes. If you have any questions about what you want us to like put in the vlogs, is there anything in particular that you want us to see um, or go into more detail about, please leave it in the comments down below because we will be taking all that and making sure that we do put them in the video. So if you have a question that you want answering, Take the time to leave a comment. We'll really appreciate it and we'll try our best to put it in the videos. And if you haven't already, you probably want to subscribe because these are going to be some pretty epic videos coming yeah, over the next couple they of really uh, are. months. Can't wait to make them. Sorry for anyone who's been expecting a Florida vlog today. They are returning again next week. Like the video, subscribe. That's what the YouTubers say. <laughs> and until next time. We'll see you on the next adventure. Catch you later. Bye.